Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to your mats and welcome to a Fit Flow with me. So Fit Flow is a yoga-based body-weighted conditioning class and the aim is to help you strengthen your normal yoga practice, get a little bit of sweaty, have some fun and get your heart rate up. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more of a lower body-based class and we're going to start lying flat on our backs. So Supta Baddha Konasana, soles the feet together, knees rocking out to the sides, arms can be wherever you want them to be, on your body, next to your body, it's completely up to you. And then just draw your shoulders away from your ears, just getting nice and comfortable, just settling in, closing your eyes and we'll just scan through your body. So starting from the top of the head, checking in with where your body is at today. And maybe there's some movements, maybe you just want to rock your head left and right. You don't have to be still straight away. And then we'll just take three deep breaths together. Exhale first to empty everything out. Taking a deep breath in through your nose to fill up. And opening your mouth, exhale to release. Inhale. And exhale to release. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Arms are gonna come alongside your body. Blinking open your eyes. If you've got any knee pain or hip pain, you can always just bring your legs to close and do exactly what we're doing, but just bridging your hips up to hips up towards the ceiling. But we're gonna take a Supta Baddha Konasana bridge. You've got to squeeze your feet together and then press into the outer blades of the feet as we hinge, no articulation, you're hinging at the hips, to hinge the hips up towards the ceiling to squeeze and lower down. So you lower your spine down in one shape. No articulation, bridge with the body. And we go to lift for two and lower and three and lower, four. Make sure you're squeezing your feet together, five, six, press through your arms to help you, seven, eight, still feel that drawstring between the hip points, nine, 10, lowering down. If you haven't already, hands to the outside of the legs, closing them, feet are fist distance apart, arms alongside your body. We bridging. If this is your second round, keep going. We bridge, no articulation to lift and lower glutes to the mat for two, to lower. Press through your big toes for three, to lower. For four, stay broad across your chest. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, we've got ten more, let's go. Ten, make sure your knees aren't going wide. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five. You're going to pause at the top. Four, three, two, one. At the top, lift your heels up. You're on the balls of the feet. We're going to little pulse at the top for ten, for nine. Little pulse. Eight, seven. Little pulse. Six, five. Strong through the arms. Four. Three, two, one. Lower your heels, lift the balls of the feet. You're reaching on the heels, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the feet down, no articulation, just lower the hips. Squeeze your knees into your chest. You can rock left and right. 
and then you can rock it and a roller forwards and backwards along the length of the spine all the way to rock over your ankles, coming to meet me in a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees underneath your hips for a little wrist warm up. You're gonna take your fingers out to the side, thumbs facing forward, and just rock left and right. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, it's hands closer towards each other, and then less challenging hands further away, just rocking left and right. And then you can take some circles as well, so take the shoulders forward, to the side, back, and around. Just make sure that the thumbs stay facing forward, circling around. And then if you are circling, just change the circle opposite direction. When you're finished, fingertips face back to the front. You're gonna make a fist with the right hand. Just take three circles and make the circles slow and big circles with the right wrist, and then three slow big circles in the other direction. Top of the hand to the mat, opening up the wrist joint, you can press back, should get a nice stretch into the forearm. Gently release, other side. So fist with the left hand, big circles with the wrist. You can take them slow. And then three circles in the other direction. Top of the hands, the mat, opening up the wrist joint. And gently release all fours. Finding a stiff feeling around your waist. So it's, I like to picture like a Ziploc bag or a vacuum pack bag that's zipping tight around your waist. So not only belly button to spine, but sides of the waist as well. Neutral spine, you tuck your toes. Hover the knees off the mat, drive the heels backwards. We tapping, right knee, right elbow. Take it forward and back to the left. Shoulders don't change, just the leg moves. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. One more each side. To the right, to the left. Downward facing dog to lift your hips up and back. Just start to pedal through your legs a little bit. First downward facing dog, whatever movements feel good. If you wanna come back to your knees, you can take a child's pose, closed legged or knees wide. And that rest position or any other rest position is there whenever you need it. Two more breaths to find your downward facing dog. And we'll breathe together. Inhale for one. Take a slight bend to the knees to lengthen through the back. Exhale. Inhale for two. Find a wrapping sensation through the arms. Exhale. Making your way to the top of the mat. Step, step or float forward, fold, relax your head. We're rolling up through the spine for a count of five, four, three, two, one, inhale, high mountain to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then you're closing your hands. You're taking a little thumbs up position. Thumbs are reaching up to the ceiling. You're gonna go thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. Keeping your arms straight, not blowing out the ribs. I'll face side on so you can see. So it's thumbs up, thumbs down. Nine, eight, make sure they're moving straight. Seven, six, arms stay straight, five, Four, don't curl the thumbs in. Three, two, one. Arms go out to a capital T shape. Now you're taking the wrists forward, the wrists back. You've got to keep the thumbs up to the ceiling. Don't let the thumbs creep to the rest of the fingers. We go for eight, seven, six. Keep those thumbs up. Five, four, Three, two, one. High mountain, arms reach up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, down to the mat, just warming up. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, relax your head. Two more like that, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, belly in. Exhale, forward fold, last one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, step to your high plank, and we're gonna hold our high plank. Press the mat away, drive your heels backwards, pull up your kneecaps, tuck your pelvis under. Left hand is gonna come under your face, shifting 
Side plank, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Lift out of your waist. Reach out of that right hand up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down. You're just gonna roll over to the other side. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling to find a side plank. We're just holding. Working on our straight arm strength. Draw your belly in, inhale. High plank, exhale, on or off your knees, chaturanga. Mid plank, upward facing dog, broad across your chest. Downward facing dog. And take the vinyasa of your choice or skip it out completely. Let's take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale, top of your space, step, step or float, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high mountain to rise. Forward fold, exhale, hands down the center line. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step to your high plank to hold. Forearm plank. Lowering down. Drive your heels backwards. Press the forearms into the mat. Tuck your pelvis under. Find the vacuum pack around the waist. Weight into the left forearm, rotate your toes, right arm up to the ceiling, forearm side plank. Lift out the bottom shoulder. Inhale, exhale, right forearm down, rotating, left arm lift up. Lift out of this bottom shoulder, the bottom waist. Take a deep breath in. Forearm plank, press up with your right hand first, high plank, a vinyasa of your choice if you want to, on or off your knees, downward facing dog. Last little round of our warm up, take a deep breath in, opening your mouth, exhale, top of your space, step, step or float, forward fold, relax your head, halfway left, inhale, forward fold, exhale, high mountain, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, hands down the center line. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, step to a high plank. Left hand comes under your face, right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Lift out the side body, straight arm strength. Reach tall out the right hand, the top hand. Take a deep breath in. Right forearm comes down to the mat. Forearm comes down to the mat. Forearm side plank. Lift out of this bottom shoulder. Left forearm comes down to the mat, forearm side plank over to the other side. Right arm lifts up. Just combining the last two rounds. You're gonna press into your right hand. Straight arm side plank over to the left. Left arm lifts up. Five, four, three, two, one forearm plank first, just so we can even things out. Forearm plank, you're gonna press up with your left hand. High plank, vinyasa of your choice. Skip it if you prefer. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right tricep. We're gonna tap and hold for five, four, three, two, one, three-legged dog, inhale. To left tricep, tap and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Three-legged dog, inhale. Knee to nose, tap and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Foot between your hands, rising up to find a lunge. Hands are gonna come to your hips. We tapping the back knee down, lifting up, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, keep going, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Step your back foot in. So we're just going to set it up starting feet together. You're going to step the left foot back. So I'd say it's about half a meter. So much shorter than what our pyramid legs would be. And then we come up onto the ball of the back foot. Hands are going to come to your hips. Straight spine. Think of being a board with your body hinging from the hips. You're pressing back onto this right glute, right hamstring, and lifting all the way up to make it more difficult. You just take the stance a little wider, press back tabletop, lift from the hamstring, the glute. Let's go. For two, and lift. Make sure you're not arching the back. For three, and lift. For four, keep that back heel lifted. And I want you to control the lifting and the lowering, same speed. So try not to ricochet it up and bounce. Control it. And up. That's six. Seven. Boarded body. Eight. Nine. So you've got 12 of these. Ten. Two more. Eleven. 12, feet to touch, step to the top, high mountain, inhale, forward fold, exhale, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, step to your high plank, forearm plank, lower your forearms down, you can either hold your forearm plank, are we doing hip dips, left and right, up to you, so you can hold through center or move with me. Think up and over, up and over. Working through your waist. Fast or slow if you need to. We go for five, four, three, two, one more each side through center. High plank, right arm first. Down dog, lift your hips. A deep breath in. Opening your mouth, exhale to release. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Knee to left tricep, tap and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Three-legged dog. Knee to right tricep, tap and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Three-legged dog. Knee to nose, tap and hold. Five, four, three, two. One foot between the hands, rising up. Shortening your stance if you need to, I want to 90-90. Hands to hips, tapping the back knee down, lifting it up, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you've got 5 more, 5, 4, 3, 2, one step to the top, so we're going to set it up from the top together. So you step back, half a pyramid, so I'd say, yeah, half a pyramid, onto the ball of the back foot to make it harder. It's further away, closer, a little bit closer, well, easier, a little bit closer. Hands to hips, board body, we hinge. Think tilting left sitting bones to ceiling and hinging back up and then adjust the stance as you need to, we go. 12, control the lift as much as you control the lower. 11, press through the left big toe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
One. Feet to top. Step at the top. High mountain. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Step to your high plank. Forearm plank to lower. Weight into the left forearm. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling. We're doing little hip dips. Or you can just hold in the shape. Tap the hip down. Lift it up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Lift out the top arm. Eight. Nine. Ten. Right forearm down. I'm going to keep my back facing you. Left arm lifts up. Little hip taps or hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Lift out the top arm. Two. One. Press through your left hand. High plank. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth. Exhale. Step, step or float to a seated position. And then coming to lie down on your back. All the way down. Hands are going to come behind your head. Extending the legs up towards the ceiling. So we're scissoring the legs, similar to a bicycle. But we're going to take the scissors. So you're going to take, keep the right leg lifted. You're going to lower the left leg down. And you're going to rotate to the right. Scissor and change to the left. Your legs don't have to be completely straight. Hamstring flexibility obviously dependent. You can keep the top leg bent. Let's go. To the right, onto the right shoulder blade. Left shoulder blade. Right shoulder blade, strong through those legs. Left shoulder blade. Get powerful through your legs. Left, right, left, right, left, right. So nice, keep going. Left, right, get powerful in the legs. Can you get off the shoulder blades and just tap one shoulder blade at a time? Two more each side. Right, left, last one each side to the right. To the left, knees into your chest. And then you're just gonna roll over to lie on your side, propping up onto your right forearm, if you wanna do the other side first, fine. Knees together, we take little clams. Hands gonna to come to your top hip. You're gonna press up as you take the clam. You're gonna press out of this bottom arm to lift, and then lower all the way down, knees together. Let's go. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. You're going to stay stacked on this forearm, but you're going to extend your bottom leg. It's your right leg long. Top leg can step behind. So this is more of just working on mind-body connection, less of actually working. So often our adductors can get lazy, that's our inner thigh muscle, and that helps in a lot of our standing postures. So I want you to bring your finger to this juicy inner thigh muscle, or place your hand, and you're just gonna lift it up, feel it switch on, and lower it down. Let's go. 10, nine. If you wanna do what to do it with your hand, you don't have to, but it's nice, that feedback, you can actually feel the muscle switching on. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And you're just gonna swap it over to the other side. So little clam legs first, you're on your left forearm, top hand to your top hip. You're lifting out and lifting and lowering down, lifting out of your shoulder. Let's go, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, extending your bottom leg long, top leg just steps behind it. Bring your finger to your inner thigh. And then we're just lifting the bottom leg up. It's straight. 
we go 10, 9. So again, it's not a hell of a lot of work, but more about creating that mind-body connection, teaching that muscle to switch on. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you'll feel the difference between the two sides. 10, you usually have one that switches on more than the other. Legs together, roll over onto your shins, and then just press back to a closed-legged rest position. You can rock left and right. Tabletop position takes you forward. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog to lift your hips. Taking a deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale. Right leg rises, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, hold it, foot between your hands, standing splits to launch you forward onto the front leg. So I'm not too phased about the height here, more about the square hips, and more about the feeling of drawing your forehead towards the mat. You're gonna bend your top leg, you're pulsing the heel up towards the ceiling. We pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, relax your head, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Extend the top leg, tap the toe down to the mat. You've got standing split leg lifts. Lifts, not a kick. Lift from the hamstring in the butt and lower down. Bend the bottom leg as much as you need to. For two, and down. For three, trying to get a little bit more height every time. For four, and down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, don't drop it. 10, lift it up, take a deep breath in, exhale, Shiva squat, traction your knees together, inner thighs together. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. We go for three and squeeze and four, and squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, you're gonna hold the Shiva squat when you're done, 10, Shiva squat, place the foot down, you're in a curtsy to rise all the way up, from your curtsy lunge, stepping feet together, back into the curtsy. Curtsy, feet together. For two, feet together. Three, together. Four, five, six. So that supporting glute leg should really be talking to you. Seven, eight, nine, 10, one legged Tadasana, left leg comes through, one legged Tadasana, figure four, hands to heart center, sit down just to give that right butt cheek a bit of a breather. Inhale, crisscross forward fold, exhale, slides it over and down, and then again, just releasing that right butt cheek. What's quite nice is you can roll onto the outer blade of the left foot, that's the back leg, and then you should get even more of a stretch up ITB, that's the side of your leg. Inhale, exhale, your right leg steps back, that's your back leg, right leg steps back. Pick up your front leg, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose to hold it, foot steps between your hands, Standing splits launches you forward, and we do the whole thing on the other side. So again, not too faced about the height of your standing splits. Bend the bottom leg as much as you need to. Relax your neck. We've got bending the top leg. You're pulsing heel towards the ceiling. We go for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, extend the leg, lowering the toe back down, standing splits, leg lifts, no kicking, relax the head, we lift it up and lower it down, bending the bottom leg as much as you need to, to lift and lower, hips are square, 
four, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, lift the standing split, Shiva squat, traction your knees together, inner thighs to squeeze, standing splits. We go for two, and extend, for three, extend, don't crank your neck, for four, extend, five, extend, make sure you are bending that bottom leg, don't get lazy, six, seven, Eight, you're gonna end the last one in a Shiva squat. Nine, 10, extend, Shiva squat. Place the foot down, rising up. You've got your curtsy, and then we stand up through center. Curtsy, standing up through center. We go, 10, and up. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. One legged Tadasana, one legged mountain to bring that leg through. Inhale, breath. Exhale, exhale figure four. Hands to heart center. Just giving that left glute a bit of a break. Draw the top knee away from you. Inhale, crisscross, forward fold. Exhale, sliding down. Relax your head, and then if you did do it on the other side, you can come onto the outer blade of the left leg, and then that just gives that stretch down the side of the leg a little bit of an up level. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, left leg steps back, low lunge. Stepping to a high plank. Vinyasa of your choice, skip it if you prefer. All the way to your downward facing dog to lift. Let's take two breaths, inhale for one. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale, step, step, flow to a seated position. Feet are gonna come out in front of you. We're gonna take some tricep dips. Fingertips facing towards your glutes. You've got two options here. You can do double legs, tricep dips. We've only got 10. Nice little up level is if you take a right leg to tabletop, you do five with the right leg lifted. Five with the left leg lifted, or both feet flat. It's only 10. So fingertips to glutes. Lift up to find the altar tabletop first. Right leg to table. Let's go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, just swap it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Left leg down, hips down, roll over your ankles, coming to your shins. So, sitting up on your shins, you want your legs to be about hip distance apart, reaching your arms out in front of you. So this is a hinging with the body backwards, straight line, but a little bit different today. If you have done these before, it's usually cued straight line from shoulders to knees all the way back up. What we're gonna do to protect our lower back a little bit and to strengthen our lower abdominals, I'll demonstrate one for you. Arms are come, going to come out in front of you. I want you to focus your attention to what my pelvis is doing. So. As I hinge back, I'm slowly starting to tilt my pubic bone towards my nose, protects my lower back, catches. I use my abdominals to slowly lift me up. As I lift up, my spine, my pelvis returns back to neutral. So tilt and lift. Another note before we go, I don't wanna see a ricochet. Not that I'll see you, but I'll know. No ricochet, nice and steady. Arms out in front of you. And we start to hinge. As you start to hinge, don't clench, abdominals. And we hinge. Catch yourself. 
slowly coming back up, rebuild the spine. We go for two. To catch, slowly rebuild the spine. For three. Catch, slowly rebuild the spine. You've only got five of them. For four. Catch, slowly rebuild. Last one, five. To catch, slowly rebuild all the way to the top. Hands down, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Feet are about hip distance apart. Hands to your feet, hands to your feet, back of the mat. Rolling up through your spine for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Feet are hip distance apart. Narrow a squat, you sitting back, standing all the way up. As you sit back, arms come out in front of you to counterbalance. Two, and up. Three, and up. Four, and up. Press through your heels. Five, and up. Six, now focus at the top, making sure you're not just sending the hips forward. At the top, I actually want you to Squeeze the tops of the glutes. Three. Two. One, meet me in a squat to hold. The weight's gonna go into the left leg, right knee into your chest for a wind removing pose. Hands come to your shin. So legs might feel a little bit shaky, but that's nice to balance on them when they're shaky. So really squeeze that right knee into your chest. You can lean back slightly if you want to, or you can just pull the leg up nice and tall. We're gonna take the leg into our left hand. We're gonna rotate through our chest so that the right arm can reach out behind you. And then you can gaze to the back arm just to challenge your balance a little bit or you're just gazing out to the side. If you want an up level, you can take your hand to the outer blade of the foot, finding a nice extension. And then you can also take your gaze behind you if you'd like. So you're still at the back of the mat. We'll slowly come back through center. One-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain. Inhale. Exhale to squat down low. Weight into the right foot. Left leg picks up, one-legged Tadasana. Hands around, when removing pose. Squeeze the leg in tight. Checking the difference between the two sides. Maybe you wanna lean back slightly. Squeezing the knee in. Then we'll take a nice little rotation. So right hand holds onto the leg. Left arm opens up to the side. You can gaze at that left hand or directly out to the side. And if you went for it on the other side, hand to the outer blade of the foot, extending it out in front of you. Think of getting expansive across your chest. Doesn't matter which variation you're in. So really trying to open through the back shoulder, the left shoulder. Slowly meeting me back through center, whatever variation you had. One-legged Tadasana, inhale. Sitting down to that wide-legged chair, that squat position, exhale. And then standing all the way up. You should be at the back of the mat. Bring your feet fist distance apart. Inhale. Exhale, slowly starting to roll down. One vertebra at a time, all the way to the bottom. Walking out to find a downward facing dog. And then step, step or flow to a seated position at the top. Extending your legs out long in front of you. Removing the fleshy bits so you're sitting directly on the sitting bones. Flex your feet. Inhale to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold to fold you forward. I'd like you to take quite an active forward fold, but if you are done and you would prefer passive, palms up to the ceiling, legs bent, head relaxed for a nice neural stretch. For more active, we're looking for a longer spine, flexing the feet, trying to think belly to thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, everyone meets in more of a passive forward fold. So if you were there already, just hold it. Belly button to spine, rolling up one vertebra at a time. 
Feet are flat, scooching your butt towards your heels. Not too close, you wanna be able to sit up quite nice and comfortably. Left hand, right shin. Right arm out in front of you, palm faces up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, we're serving something on a platter. Out to the side, keep rotating the right thumb down. Let your gaze follow your hands. Make sure you're not rounding into the lower back. And then just remember, we're rotating around our spinal column. Our spinal column isn't moving. Inhale. Exhale, slowly returning back through center. Right hand, left shin, left arm out. Slight downward pressure through the thumb. Inhale. Exhale as you rotate, serving something on the platter. Take your head with you. Stay tall through the spine. Inhale. Exhale to slowly return back through center. Both arms reach out in front of you. Inhale. Exhale as you start to roll down one vertebra at a time. Draw string between the hip points slowly and controlled until you can lie all the way flat on your back, extending the legs. Right knee comes into your chest straight away, rolling the leg around in the socket. Get some movement into that hip joint. Supine twist to guide the leg across the body and you can extend the arm out, capital T, or you can take a little cactus arm, also feels quite nice. The knee doesn't have to touch, but both shoulders are flat. And then if it feels good in the chest, you can gaze over towards the right hand side. And just slowing down your breathing. Two more breaths. Last one, inhale. Slowly coming back through center on the exhale. Squeeze the right knee into the chest. You're gonna place your left foot flat on the mat. Extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. And then you can either bring your hand to your hamstring just to guide the leg a little closer towards your face or to your calf or to your foot, whatever makes you happy. Just make sure that you aren't tilting your lower back off of the mat. You wanna keep a neutral spine as you find that stretch. So almost think tilting your pelvis away from you as you draw the leg towards you. Right leg lowers straight down towards the mat as your left knee draws in towards your chest. Roll it around in the socket. Supine twist to guide the leg across the body. Both shoulders stay flat. A little cactus with the arm or you extending the arm out to the side. And then if it feels good, you can gaze over towards the left hand side. One more inhale. Exhale to slowly return back through center. Squeeze the left knee into the chest. You place the right foot flat on the mat, extending the left leg up to the ceiling, and then it's either hamstring, calf, ankle, foot to gently guide the leg towards you as you tilt the pubic bone away from you. Trying to pull up that kneecap as much as you can. Bending the top leg, both knees are gonna come into your chest, last bit of activation. You're gonna literally give yourself a hug here. So wrap your arms tight around your shins, forehead towards your knees, just taking a moment to say thank you to your body, to be grateful that you actually have the ability to move. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. I want you to find your Supta Baddha Konasana so that we end the same way we started. Soles of the feet together, knees to the outside. If this is uncomfortable, feet to the outside, knees in. Hands wherever you prefer. Three breaths to end off. Exhale first. Deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale to release. Inhale. Exhale. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale. Hands to the outside of the legs, close them like a book. And then just rocking and rolling, coming up to a seated position. You can stay in that shape if you prefer. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got nice and sweaty and your legs got a nice burn. And I will see you soon.